What's the one thing you would never buy second hand? A helmet. They can only take one good hit. Underwear. Why are the top comments things people realistically wouldn't even think of buying second hand? Motorcycle helmet. Toothbrushes. Mattress. Keyboard. I've disassembled quite a few for cleaning, and they are disgusting. If I have the chance, I'd rather use my own or buy a new one. Detest the thought of using someone else's. Condoms. One thing? Earphones, underwear, shoes, toothbrush, socks, mattress, like, I can go on but my goodness there's a lot. My local Goodwill sold bathing suits, used bathing suits. Used lingerie too just the tops, once my big sister was going to buy both but assumed they were new, but given to Goodwill because the person who bought it ended up not liking it or something. She even asked the lady at the desk about it. When we got to the car she found out both were stained especially the lingerie. You can assume with what. I could never buy either of those used, especially after that. Couches. I know people buy them second-hand often, but I find it's easy to conceal prior spills on certain couches. Most couches are disgusting after a few years of use. Sex toys would never as who know what sort of shit on there. Earphones. Pacifiers. When I was pregnant, my mother-in-law gave me a plastic baggie of used pacifiers. She had bought them at a garage sale and told me they'd be fine to use if I just boiled them first. No. Hard pass. They went straight in the trash when I got home. Twitter. Skydiving equipment, climbing equipment, anything safety related. Anything that separates you from the ground. Shoes, beds, tires, etc. Breast pumps. Unless it's a closed system. When mine were small, most were not closed systems, which allows aerosolized breast milk particles to get places you can't clean. FDA does not recommend it. Raspberry beret. Baby carrier or child seat. Only from friends where I can be sure that they are accident-free and clean. Fleshlight. Toilet paper. Bed sheets. No thanks. Hard pass. We don't even bother trying to give them away to other people. Best we can do is donate to animal shelters so the furry ones have something soft to snuggle around in. Men's PJ pants. My husband started to look at some and I said, nope. No way some men wear PJ pants all night and all day with no underwear for days at a time. Like the same pair for multiple days of sitting around the house not showering. Also not to mention teenage boys. I can't get myself to let my husband buy used ones. It grosses me out. A microphone. I am a host at a radio show, and I cringe every time I think about how many people have spit in that thing. I never understood the used tire market. I know they're expensive, but for something that literally separates you from a 70 miles per hour fiery death, I'd rather make sure I'm getting ones that are new. Car seats. Bike helmet. Any PPE really. Medication. It will probably taste a bit nastier. Heroin syringes. Sex toys. The fact that there is even a market for used ones is highly disgusting and disturbing. Shoes. I'm a huge germaphobe and always smell things before I buy them in the thrift store. Not a deep sniff, just a gentle one. So far every pair of shoes I come across at thrift stores smell foul. Could just be me being picky. But IDC. Condoms. Blankets I almost buy everything clothing related second hand BC I just can't stop feeling guilty when buying new jeans for example, so much water wasted just for jeans OMG. Organs. Dentures and hearing aids. I have seen used hearing aids for sale. Shoes, definitely. Shoes. 
the idea of literally walking in someone else's shoes stresses me out because I don't want to go through what they've been through. Superstitious I guess. Underwear. Food, secondhand food tastes like shit. Covid tests. Well, if you actually want a serious answer, I'd say protective equipment, such as motorcycle helmets. You never know what stress they've already been through and your safety is worth proper new equipment. Fleshlight. Sex toys. Mattresses. Linen. Coffin.